You're not really wearing that, are you? Wearing what? The man purse. You actually gonna wear that? You guys just fucking with me. It's where I keep all my things. I get a lot of compliments on this. Plus, it's not a man purse. It's called a satchel. Welcome back to the Brave New Wear Show. My name's Christian. Without the same fear or irony, bags, purses are becoming a real trend in men's fashion right now. I'm seeing it actually evolving in a way where men are earnestly interested in what are essentially cross-body bags, and I'm not seeing the same kind of pushback or anxiety or fear of wearing them that we've seen so many times in the past in iterations where men are starting to become interested in fashion, but there's this fear of doing something kind of feminine. Hey, it's missing something. <laughs> really? A purse? I'm telling you, all the men are carrying them in the spring catalog, look. See, look, women carrying the bag. <laughs> that was then. These tired, forced goofs about how silly it would be if a man wore a purse. And this is especially interesting being the late 90s, the early 2000s when Friends came out because of the rise of metrosexual, quote unquote, and this beginning of men starting to take an interest in clothing. Let's flash forward to now. Fashion YouTuber Anthony DeLuca is showing off his new purchase of the soft trunk purse by Louis Vuitton. And this trend is obviously in my mind spurred by two design houses because these are the bags that I'm actually seeing. Men are really interested in these purses. It's the Dior Homme saddlebag by Kim Jones. And I would say it's the Louis Vuitton soft trunk by Virgil Abloh. My call to action for you in the comments below, I want to know if you would wear essentially a crossbody bag. Why or why not? And I ask you to think actually about if you wouldn't wear one, is it just because it seems so feminine or it seems so laced in ideas that wearing a purse is not masculine? So let's get into the video. This trend is born from three colliding factors. The first one being that feminine style is more explored in men's fashion. And I don't say androgynous, I would refer to literally styles that have been in female clothing is now being explored in men's clothing. The second one would be the fanny pack it was very popular in the last two years and it drove men to start wearing accessories that are bags that they're wearing across their body that are smaller, they're not overtly masculine. The third factor is men's clothing is becoming more legitimate and as men's luxury evolves, this market is continuing to grow and expand and I think that the real legitimacy of men's luxury fashion is pushing this or it's being pushed by luxury brands to start creating purses for men. Now that is actually a huge factor. If these big luxury houses can get men to start buying $2,000, $3,000 bags, this could really explode their profits. If they can essentially get men to emulate the same buying patterns as women in luxury fashion. Walk into any Barney's or Saks or Gucci store and the first thing you see on the first floor or the beginning of the store is going to be women's purses. This is these brands huge money maker and rather than hiding them in the store so you had to look through all the inventory, they have it in the first floor, the first thing you see. And this is really a testament to how important they find these bags. I've said this before, but essentially accessories are the lifeblood of these luxury brands. These accessories, in essence, fund the huge runway shows that we see that is realistically lose millions of dollars creating these garments and putting on these shows. All of those are, in essence, set pieces for the designer accessories and shoes because that's where they make a huge amount of money. And without a doubt, a lot of these luxury houses make a huge portion of their revenue through purses, through bags. For women, bags are a fundamental cornerstone of fashion. The bag was likely the first human invention, and for city dwellers who don't have a car to drive around, 
bags are a necessity to carry around all of your stuff. I found this really interesting Guardian article from 1927 titled The Growing Importance and Size of Handbags, and it perfectly reflects the important factor of their rise, and I think it kind of reflects why men's purses are still slightly taboo. To quote the article, a miniature manicure set accompanies many women, including lipstick, cigarette case, cigarette holder. There's at least one handkerchief a pencil, and an engagement diary. Just looking at the candidness of this 1920s article, we can see that the pressures or needs for women were dramatically changing. The expectations were that women would always have essentially a grooming kit on them. I think that this is where a lot of the fear of men wearing bags is kind of still rooted. For guys with a lot of gear to haul every day, the line between a man purse and a manly bag, well, it is pretty thin. We see bags as carrying around things like tampons or makeup. And there's a fear that essentially this need is only necessary for women. And here is where I think it really becomes interesting. If we kind of look forward and say the Dior and Louis Vuitton trend actually continues. Will men start purchasing and collecting bags in the very same way that women have? There is a subculture of women who blog and collect these items in the very same way that streetwear enthusiasts collect and blog about sneakers. I think that there isn't the same cultural background that sneakers have that men's purses might have. I could see a huge increase of men buying several bags, having several accessories to fit with their outfits. Friends, thank you for watching my video. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and comment down below why you would or wouldn't wear a purse. Like if I sent you in the mail one of those Dior Ohm saddlebags, would you wear it or would you just flip it? And why exactly would you be comfortable wearing the bag or why exactly would you be uncomfortable? And I ask you to think about it stylistically instead of just simply thinking about the you know, deep-rooted implications that having a leather bag like this is overtly feminine. And I will catch you in the next video.